Hello and welcome to the PhotoEye Photography Masterclass series. In this series I'll be showing you how to manipulate and improve your photographs. In this first picture we have a dramatic landscape photograph taken in North Wales. It's looking pretty good as it stands but I'll show you a few tweaks that we can make to the picture to improve it. Now I've opened the photograph into Photoshop, so let's make a few improvements to the picture. I can see at the bottom here that we've got unwanted telegraph pole, which can be removed with a clone brush. But I'd rather use the spot healing brush tool. So we select that and we just simply paint over the distraction and hey presto, it's gone. It's a very quick tool to use. Now looking at the overall picture, I can see the sky is looking Although it's dramatic, it could do with some enhancement. In the old days, photographers would use graduated filters. These come in a variety of colours. It just places directly over the lens, and these can also work with digital cameras. But there's a much easier way of doing this, and I'll show you how to do it. So let's go and create a new layer. Just click on the new layer icon, and make sure that the new layer is active. Now click on the color swatches here and this little icon here just click on that which resets the swatches back to their default setting of black and white. Now we'll select the gradient tool and then we'll go up to the gradient editor and click on this to open up this panel. And we can see now that the gradients go from black to pure white and if we click on the little white or the black swatch above the white we can now select the opacity and set it down to zero, which makes it transparent. Click OK on that. And now with the gradient tool still selected, just draw a line down from the top down to roughly about middle or halfway in your photograph. And if to constrain the angle to 90 degrees, just hold the shift key down and that will constrain it automatically. Release the mouse and the, the gradients placed over the photograph. But as you can see it's looking rather milky down below and a bit dark on the top. So we can change the blending mode of this layer and we're going to select overlay. And there we have it. Then immediately we've enhanced the sky and we've lost that milkiness in the central part of the image. And now this is looking pretty good but I can actually further enhance this photograph. So I'm going to make or duplicate this layer, just drag it down to the make new layer icon and this is now duplicated this layer. With this layer now selected I'm going to apply a curves to this. So we go on to adjustments there and we'll select curves. Now I'm going to do a fairly dramatic alteration to this and it's going to look pretty it's not going to look right at the moment, it's looking very dark. So we'll select that OK and now we have a very dark picture which is far too dark. But we can alter this again. So let's make a mask on this. So click on the mask layer and ensure that this layer is selected. You can see the outside box surrounding it. And we'll select the fill tool or the bucket fill tool and just click on there and make sure that your foreground color is black. Now this is totally hidden up this entire layer. So now we're going to select the paintbrush and we'll swap our foreground color to white. Now this will now effectively work like an eraser tool. It's just erasing parts of the image and allowing the dark part or the darker version of this layer to show through. You could of course use the dodge and burn tools, but these are destructive and I wouldn't necessarily recommend using these. It's a much easier way to use the masking facilities and if you do make a mistake, all you need to do is just swap the brush colours around back to black or white and you can erase the part that you don't like. So now I've selected black again, so now this is painting back in the mask, so it's hiding up that dark area and we can work our way around the photograph just painting in the dark parts and we can like this hill in the background we can just darken that down a bit and this is a very very effective way of actually manipulating a photograph it's very easy to do and a little bit of practice and you'll perfect this and now all we need to do is do a save as and we're ready to print it